Howdy, partner. What's up Airsofters? You know, it's not very often we get to see the release of something truly unique and different these days in the world of Airsoft. But the all new release from G&G I have right in front of me is just that. In this video, we're checking out the new G&G Levar 7 and Levar 15, lever action gas rifles. First off, let's just marvel for a second over what exactly is going on here. Lever action, gas powered, mag fed. Yes. These G&G Lev R rifles feature a metal receiver and barrel assembly with a Picatinny top rail and aluminum M-lock handguard in either 7 inch or 15 inch lengths respectively with plenty of space for grips, lights, lasers and any other M-lock compatible accessory you want. Which, as you can see, we've taken full advantage of here. We've used this space to fully deck out these very cool and very unique looking lever action rifles. I mean, they already look pretty ridiculous out of the box, but why not go full send? <laughs> I, it looks ridiculous, I know. You might notice that there are different stock options. The Levar 15 comes with a full skeletonized stock with an adjustable cheek riser, and the Levar 7 goes for the ultimate CQB compactness with just the grip portion. Now, interestingly, both versions actually use the same grip, which is finished at the back with a Picatinny rail segment to which the full stock is actually attached and is removable. And on the Levar 7, we've chosen to attach a Strike Industries folding stock, making for an even more ridiculous looking build in our opinion. And despite its crazy looks, actually shoulders pretty well. Now the grip here doubles as the gas reservoir in both versions and has a gas fill valve on the base. And I know you guys are already five steps ahead of me here, but yes, HPA tapping to your heart's content is totally on the menu easily doable. Now the front end is threaded in 14 millimeter negative for all your mock suppressors and tracer needs and conveniently the entire uppers are swappable. So you could get both and swap the shorty upper onto the full stock version or swap the long upper onto the stockless version very quickly. Additionally because these Levar rifles utilize M4 upper receivers you can swap on any other G&G upper you'd like or already own which is super cool. And really because it's a pretty standard M4 pattern I don't know that you're necessarily limited to G&G, but pretty reliably out of the box, a G&G upper is going to fit on here nice and easy. The only change you'll need to make when swapping the uppers, well, to a different upper that isn't from the Levar series, is that because the lever Levar is a lever action, it doesn't use a charging handle. So there's a little uh, blanking plate here at the back that fills in the void left by the now missing charging handle. In terms of controls, you've got an ambidextrous magazine release. On the right side, you'll see it has this really neat little pivoting design, uh, which means that you can actually actuate it from either side, which I think is really cool. But the rearmost one makes it easy to drop your mag with this wide spaced controls layout without having to shift your grip. On the left-hand side, just above the trigger and lever action assembly, you've got a rotating safety lever, and at the back, there's the hammer assembly. And finally, that brings us to the mag well. Now, as you can see, the included 32 round magazine sits nice and flush with the bottom of the receiver, giving you a slightly more classic silhouette. But thanks to these babies being designed around M4 magazine compatibility, we all know what's going inside this mag well. Full size mags, drum mags, and really anything else that fits that M4 AEG compatible mag slot. There's a snake in my boots. And really, that's the beauty of these G&G Levar rifles. You get gas performance, and thanks to it being non-blowback, crazy efficiency, and since it's compatible with M4 AEG magazines, tons of options for ammo storage and feeding with none of the drawbacks of gas mags. You can drop mags to your heart's content. In fact, the whole system features a robust set of metal internals that were designed to hold up to the strenuous use I'm sure you're all dreaming about right now. And to my eyes, that hop-up unit here also looks like a pretty standard G&G M4 AEG style, which should mean that the inner barrel bucking and hop-up unit upgrades 
that you'd like to do can be accomplished without major headaches. So if you are in the market for something totally unique, different, interesting, but also something totally designed from the ground up to function well and do so with quality built parts, all in a package that modernizes the lever action and airsoft, giving you better magazine compatibility, avoiding the pitfalls of shell ejection and gas blowback, and giving you the airsofter, a high performance platform with which to customize with all of your imagination, then the G&G Lev R7 and Lev R15 lever action gas rifles are definitely worth adding to your airsoft arsenal. You can find these two rifles, spare magazines, gas, BBs, and everything else you need for your airsoft adventures right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching. Before we go, I did have one last thought. With all of this new, creative, interesting stuff they've got going on with these Lev Rs, why'd they leave the forward assist?